good triumphs over evil, and light transcends darkness. Over the past few days, Hindus, Sikhs, Jains, Buddhists have decorated their homes uh, with Rangali. They've shared sweets. They've given thanks to Pundra. They've lit sparklers all around the world, from the streets of New Delhi to the parks of Kuala Lumpur to right down the street at the White House. People have gathered to share in the simple joy of being around friends and family. And through it all, they have each reaffirmed their commitment to bringing light to their communities. That final obligation of spreading light is maybe more important than it's ever been. So even as we celebrate tonight, we remember those around the world who are not able to freely celebrate their cultural and religious holidays. Even in the face of challenges, especially in the face of challenges, the State Department will continue to support freedom of belief and celebrate religious diversity around the world. Uh, as you heard Rashad mention uh, a few moments ago, religious freedom is a fundamental American value, and supporting it is a priority for President Biden. It's also an invaluable part of the United States diplomacy because it actually helps us build bonds with other nations and with peoples around the world. One way that we show our support for religious diversity is through helping to preserve vital pieces of cultural heritage around the world. Through efforts like the uh, U.S. Ambassador's Fund for Cultural Preservation, we're helping to restore damaged historic buildings. We're helping to recover lost or stolen cultural objects, like paintings and sculptures. Just this past February, our colleagues at the mission in Australia, in partnership with the U.S. Department of Homeland Security and Indian law enforcement agents, recovered a 500-year-old stolen statue uh, of Hanuman, a Hindu deity, and returned it to the Indian government. Another way that we demonstrate our support for religious freedom is through celebrations like this one, which is one of many happening across uh, the State Department. For example, in our embassy in Abu Dhabi, a guest last week uh, decorated Arungali in the main 